This video will outline how to create a Prime Pay application in Gate 3. A Prime Pay application is a document that is prepared based on the layout for payment to the owner each month. There are several prerequisites that are required before a Prime Pay application can be created. First, there must be a Prime Pay application layout. You must have the budget lines created and linked to cost accounts. It is also necessary to copy the Prime Pay application committed cost to current on the layout if you will be billing the owner for changes. Ensure you're logged into a project, then click the Start tab. Navigate to the Payment Application Billing module. The Prime Contract Pay Application Layout default view opens. If this is your first owner monthly billing, it is recommended that you begin the billing process by reviewing several fields that are pulled over from the layout to ensure it is accurate. Since this is the first owner billing, let's review the information in the layout. Begin by clicking the monthly billing hyperlink. Place the Prime Pay application layout document in edit mode. Click the edit icon. Let's begin by reviewing the tax subsection and review that the correct taxes have been selected. If the tax type is incorrect, select the appropriate tax type from the drop down list. Navigate to the contact section and make sure that at least one contact has been flagged as billing contact yes. The owner must be the same owner as defined in the project profile. Then navigate to the retainage section. Review the retainage percentage and the retainage level is set to total and that the tax retainage release is collected. Navigate to the pay application layout line section. As a reminder, make sure that you've copied the Prime Pay application committed cost in the layout. This is a required step if you are billing for changes. This will have to be completed on a monthly basis. Select all the billing lines and click the Copy Current to Committed button. Your committed cost, including any change document amounts, will now be updated. For more information and step-by-step -step instructions on how to copy committed cost in your pay application layout, Please refer to the Prime Pay Application Committed Cost video, as this is meant to be a quick overview and reminder. Click the Save icon to save any modifications that have been made to the layout. We are now ready to begin creating the first billing. From the Contract Pay Application Layout default view, ensure the layout document has a status of active. Then click the Create Prime Contract Pay Application Layout hyperlink, located under the Actions column. Navigate to the Prime Pay Application Line section and fill in the necessary information. Fields with an asterisk are mandatory. Enter the description and the application date as both these fields are required. Note that only one draft Prime Contract Pay application can be created at a time. Enter the amounts for this pay application in the Complete to Date Percentage or Complete to Date columns. These amounts are calculated against the Committed Cost column. When the Completed to Date Percentage column is filled in, the system will calculate the Completed to Date column in dollars. When you enter the Completed to Date column in dollars, the system automatically populates the Completed to Date Percentage column. In this video, we will be entering the first monthly owner billing. In the following monthly billings, make sure to enter the cumulative amounts. Take a closer look at the Temporary Facilities Billing Line. The first billing amount entered is 40000 Next month, the billing amount will be 40000 plus the amount being billed for that month. The cumulative amount. Work your way through all the required lines and continue entering the billing amounts. As you move through each billing line, the system will auto-save the pay application as draft. You also have the ability to click on the name of the billing line to view any transactions against it that have been committed against this month. This will be demonstrated by clicking on the Permit Fees billing line. Click on the Prime Pay Application subsection to expand the left-hand side navigation panel. Notice the Time Cards and Invoices subsection. The Permit Fee transactions that have been incurred for this month will be displayed. To view associated budget lines, contract pay application lines, time cards, and invoices associated to the selected billing line scroll down. In this example, there is an invoice. To include the invoice in this month's billing, click the Allocate All option. 
Notice how the permit fees billing line has increased to 2500 Make sure you review the total this pay app column for all the billing lines with an amount. Once you've completed entering all the billing amounts, click on the save icon. This will not submit the pay application, but it will generate a pay application number. Since this is the first pay application, the number one has been assigned. You may revise and modify a pay application document as many times as you need. You now have a better understanding of how to create a prime pay application in Gate 3. The next steps in the billing process is to preview the monthly pay app and then generate the pay app. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.